Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and we're in the regular playthrough. I have some awful news. Um, I attempted to try a new program called Prism, which is very similar to OBS, in order to um, attempt to record my regular playthrough. Everything seemed to be going good. And about 20, 25 minutes into the program, I realized that my scene on Prism had not been changing. You were hearing plenty of audio, recorded 20, 25 minutes of audio, but did not record any video progression whatsoever so I have some troubleshooting to do on that unfortunately that means 20-25 minutes of playthrough are gone out the window so yeah I'm gonna summarize it as best I can uh, let's go into the menu and check out the log real quick we're still in the 16 of 16 menu uh, I faced the atlas once more, which is what you've missed. I do not know how to process what I've learned. The atlas is everywhere because we are all part of the atlas. It is a machine, a simulation. We have no meaning beyond it. But the machine is being destroyed. Something is happening to the atlas. I must warn the other travelers. I must let them know what is happening. So basically you have discovered that you are in a simulation. That your character, your character realizes it's part of a simulation only and it refuses, I decided to choose, to refuse to acknowledge the fact that I am not real, that my character is real because of the thought processes it goes through. So that's where we're at at this point, and there was some awesome looking scenery that you missed, unfortunately visiting the Atlas, uh, floating in space in front of the Atlas. I did get some screenshots and I'll share them as you might have seen at this starting thumbnail of this uh, particular series. I am literally took a 15 minute break in order to get rid of my disappointment at prism i thought prism was a much better program and it turns out it is either terrible or i uh am not operating it correctly i'm going to lean towards the latter at this point that i'm somehow missing something but it has the same kind of setup as obs so there should be no reason why any of the things i set up on it didn't work but We'll get to that later. So I'm using OBS for now in order to complete our video. So we are in another planet, in another get another part of the of this galaxy, and we found ourselves a hollow terminus, and that's where we've landed. So we are getting out, and we're going to go up to the hollow terminus right now. And we're here to warn the other travelers that the Atlas is going to shut down in 16 minutes. Now, whether that means 16 real actual minutes, 16 days, 16 hours, 16 months, we don't know. So here we are. Warning, network failure, 16 warning, network failure. The terminal is a stream of warnings and errors, each warning of total failure, but I must do what I can. I must tell the others what I've learned. We're gonna attempt the broadcast. I warn the travelers of what I've learned. These worlds are not real. The Atlas is not a god, it is a machine simulating countless realities for some unknown purpose. And after millennia of operation, the Atlas is coming to an end. There are 16 minutes until the system fails. But we cannot know how much time we have left within the simulation. The time has come to make peace and say goodbye. I finish my message, not knowing if anyone will hear it. I look out across this world, wondering how much might be left to discover, how much beauty might be lost. I know what I must do. All paths have led me there. Each portal has brought me closer and closer. I must go to the center of this galaxy. It is the epicenter of the glitch. I will say goodbye to my friends if I can, and then I will comfort our creator. I will find out what happens next. Broadcasting network compromise, no response detected. Or did it work? So off we go, Galaxy Center. Let's check our menu. You notice it's called the Purge. The Purge in this simulation here is now going to be where you get all of your glyphs. Because as you approach each system, and we'll show you. So it says, alert not of the fate of the Atlas. We're going to go ahead and do that. This will be our final visit to the Atlas, I, uh, to the anomaly, I believe. Very sorry that we lost all that information. It's a great run through. For the first 25 minutes. It is what it is. This will give us our last effort. Uh, pardon me, our last Quicksilver uh, infusion. Um, Nada and Polo choose not to look further into all of this. 
they decide to bury their heads in the sand, as the case may be. But that's because they just really don't want to admit what they already know. You know now, don't you? Of our simulated nature of the end. So you know that Nada realizes what it is. He just doesn't want to acknowledge it. The Atlas. It is failing. It resets itself again and again and again in its panic, trying to purge what it sees as an anomaly. Each purge changes nothing. Boundaries continue to fall. Atlas will die in 16. But we do not have to go so soon. It does not need to delete us in fear. Ask how many times this has happened. I do not know. I do not think we can know. Some things are eternal to the cycle. All must end. Time must end, even here. Nada and Polo cannot escape reality fall. Data cannot survive. Make peace. Find happiness. Be who you want to be. Goodbye, companions. Goodbye, stars. I will remember. Ask what they will do now. Nada and Polo will continue travels, continue acting as we always have. Kind of sad. Will I know, traveler friend, when it happens? I suppose it may have happened before already, again and again. Do you know if it has? I suppose you must not. Tell him about the simulation. No, friend, do not talk about it. We are anomalous. We have amazing anomalies. We have an amazing anomaly station, yes, but we are still fabricated beings. We, not like you, we. Talk of nature brings pain, brings danger, but trust we know, friend. Trust we cry with you, that we will be with you always, no matter the danger or cost. You are a friend. I'm going to ask about the portals. Just devices, traveler friend, to be understood, copied, advanced. That is all we can do with the universe. Yes, appreciate it. And we're done. So we're done with the anomaly. If when we come back after everything is over, they will not remember any of these conversations. Here we go. So now we are going to progress towards the galactic center, as it says. Anomaly? So, it says Atlas Station. It's going to show it to us. We don't have a choice. Just let it do its business. But we're not heading to Atlas Stations. Okay. We are going to Galactic Core. So if we follow that line, you see it heads towards a bright, shiny center. So we're going to take it as far as we can. We'll go to this one first. Off we go. So we are going to progress. Now watch what happens when we appear in the system. And this is very important for you newer players. And we will be contacted by others. You're probably wondering about knowing about Apollo. We'll be contacted. The Atlas is dying. It wants me to reset it to put itself through its interface at the center of the galaxy with your roommate. But to do so may reset this world, my life, all that I know. I do not know if I can do it. Seek the final interface, complete Atlas, or explore the galaxy. I'm going to seek the final interface. So, watch what happens. Data injection, sequence received, source unknown. You'll get this with every single system, and you just got another glyph. It's all you had to do. Let's go. And we're just going to continue on until we get all our glyphs. Atlas Station, Galactic Center. Okay. You will have to keep selecting it over and over. So we got five glyphs. We need, what, ten more? Well, to get all sixteen. Now, if you want to, at each one of these systems, you can explore the systems if you wish. You can also head to the space stations if you want and land on them so they end up in you know, in your system per se. So we just got another glyph. There's number six. There is a faster way to get the glyphs at some point. Now you notice at the bottom right it says the purge, Atlas Sequence 2 of 16. 
we've received our six glyph. We've already received others. So we've got all we... We're going to get them a little bit quicker. See? So now we have checked out the station. Engineering, opulent. That's a good place to be because you can check out good stuff here. You can probably sell some stuff here. Pick up good upgrades and stuff like that too. All right. Off we go. We're going to keep going until we're out of charge. And then we'll just charge our hyperdrive again. Now what we could do is we could take black holes and get a little closer. I'm going to show you a little something when we do the next galaxy map. So you know exactly how far we are. Okay. Oh, we've got a communication. Incoming frequency from Apollo. Well, I got your message, so our message got through. It's been a lot to take in. Simulation? Everything's not real? It it feels like it doesn't matter, I suppose. Not if we're going to die anyway, and I've been thinking about it. If the problem of this universe are due to the Atlas crying for help, then it's been crying for a long time. Those 16 minutes? I bet we have years before we die. Guess what they plan to do. I've been thinking a lot about it. How we couldn't meet, even though we seem to be standing in the same place. I don't think we really were in the same location at all. I think these por those portals, they don't transport us. They transform us. They cut through dimensions. That's what I think, anyway. It's the only way to explain it. And if the walls between worlds really are fa falling, maybe we'll be able to have a drink together before the apocalypse, after all. Say goodbye. I say goodbye, telling them that I am on a journey to the center. They tell me that they will race me there. We speak of the memories we have shared, but we did not know each other for very long. But we did not meet. They say they, they are proud to have worked with me. Goodbye, friend. So we made a good friend in Apollo. And see, we just got another glyph. And I'm not going to worry about landing at the space stations at this point, so there's our glyph. And if you take a look at the galaxy map, I'm going to show you something. If you look at the top left, it says Galaxy Core 677 thousand light years. We are jumping in about 600 light year increments, give or take. So 800 light year increments, actually. So it would take a very, very long time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to pull in the anomaly. There we go. And we're going to visit Polo for a moment. And I'll show you something that you can do. And you, We could have done this before. I mentioned black holes before. If you talk to Polo about finding black holes, your map starts showing you black holes. A black hole can traverse many tens of thousands and sometimes even over a hundred thousand light years in one jump. If it takes you in the right direction, but you never know where they're going to go. So let's go talk to Polo for a moment. Always be kind, traveler friend. All right, ask for black hole coordinates. Of course, but do not delay on our account, friend. Do what you must. It will be just, it will just be another discovery. Okay, that's all you have to do. So now your missions will be a little bit different. So you can find black holes now. Let me just show you real quick. So, don't think it shows up up there. Yeah, doesn't show up up here. So, we're just going to progress towards the, the, the center of the galaxy, but we'll be able to find black holes. There. Okay. Watch this. Okay, there's a black hole right there. So let's, before we go there, we're going to aim there real quick. Galactic core goes that way. So now if we pull back a little bit and we look in that direction, sometimes you can find systems with black holes on them. But it's not until you go through your first one that you can actually get there. 
So we're going to go ahead and hit this system. It's a little bit further back. It's only 200 light years away. And if you've never been through a black hole before, this is quite an experience. But I warn you in advance, your ship usually gets damaged. So remember, 677,000 light years, right? There's our black hole. Let me just show you real quick. Right? 677,000, right? Okay, let's head towards this black hole. And there's our glyph. Oop, it pulled me in before I could get a picture. All right. Here you're traveling through the black hole. So let's see how much how far we get. Again, we're gonna have to repair our ship when we get out. Now I don't know if we get a glyph at the end of this, but we'll find out. Now if you go back through the black hole you just came from, let's see how much it'll tell us how far we traveled. Usually. Three hundred and twelve thousand light years we traveled. But where? That's the important part. Did we get a data injection? Let's find out. I don't think we're getting one. No, we don't. So you don't get a data injection doing that. So let's go to the Bat Galaxy map. 670,000 light years. So we traveled 7,000 light years, but it took us to a different portion of the galaxy. So if we keep doing that, the problem is, is that we're not going to be heading towards the center. We're not going to get our glyphs. We've got to get all 16 glyphs. So I'm going to go ahead and do Galactic Center for now. Let's get the rest of our glyphs, and then we'll try more black holes. And off we go. So that was a test. Now we know. Once we have our 16 glyphs, we can do it. Now there's another way to get to the center of the galaxy, and people who have actually traveled there the old-fashioned way like we're doing have found a planet that is very close to the center and they know the glyphs for it so you can find a portal and you can find your way there warp 25 times we should get our glyph there it is you gotta wait till you get it and there's number 9 off we go Galactic Center. All right. All right, so this will be glyph number 10. Now, the storyline... It makes you get these 16 glyphs. And I'll explain that in a little while. Because you do need them, especially if this is going to be your main save and you're going to keep this character. By the way, did I check? Did we get damaged? Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like we got damaged. Hmm, that's good. So we got our data injection. There it is, number 10. Off we go. Okay, center of the galaxy, it's going to take us here, it says 351, but we have a pretty powerful system, let's see if we can go further, 715, I thought this one had further jump range, 693, 645, let's go here. Now this part is a bit of a grind, just jumping system to system to system, but it goes a little quicker than you expect. It takes about maybe 10 minutes or so. Let's see. I think we can do one more. So there's our next one. This is 11 or 12. 
Number 11. Okay. I think we can do one more jump with what we've got. Yeah, we can. What do you know? Let's go there. I was a little further out. All right. So, again, you've discovered that you are just an illusion within a game. Within a simulation. Which, again, Hello Games did a pretty brilliant job of the idea and the concept of what think about. to appear. There it is. Hmm, it only use up 7%. I think we can go one more time. Alright, there's number 12. I think we can go one more jump. Yep, we can. Oop, too far. Galactic Center. Pirate system. Excellent. I'm probably going to stop at the pirate space station here real quick so I can save this on my, you know, teleporter unit from here at another time. The best system you can find is a pirate dissident system. Those are awesome. Oh, we got a little communication first. Before we go to the, into the space station, let's talk to... We just got another one. You are not alone. You can't go to the center. You can't do this to us. You can't leave us. Insist you are going. No, you can't do this to us. You can't. The center. The center of each galaxy. It's the atlas. It's uh, all else just interfaces. All else a shadow of its might. You, you don't deserve it. You... You'll wipe us all to save... Ask why. The Atlas, the innermost part of itself, it has showed its dreams, its fears. I did what I had to do. I told you that. I couldn't die without seeing everything there was to see. I did what I had to do, but the Atlas it won't let me back in. It won't speak to me. It... it... Ask what Null did. I've committed such atrocities, Traveler. I had to. It was me or them. It's always been me or them. Please, if you go through the center, if you do what I did, it will reset everything. It will replace me, wipe me. All those souls, they'll have died for nothing. It was the only way to live on. You have to understand me. Life for more life. They sustained me. They... It can't all have been for nothing. I was going to see it all. I condemn him, because he killed others to extend his own life. So he thought he could see more. He basically, he went mad, is what it is. Actually, I'm not going to condemn him. Who am I to judge? I'm just going to say goodbye. I say goodbye. As Noel screams at me to reconsider, I end the communication. There's nothing left but the path toward the center. Shh. Yeah. So we got the 13th glyph. Let's land at our pirate station so we have this as part of our menu. Because I may want to play this as a, as, as a new playthrough. We'll see. I've got some nanites while I'm here. Let's get a couple upgrades, shall we? Hyperdrive, hyperdrive, hyperdrive is what we want. And he's probably not going to have... Oh, we got some. Just had one. All right, well, that's fine. Let's see what it'll give me. Uh, there you are. Hopefully ha something halfway decent. What's our hyperdrive? 664. Where is our hyperdrive? down there. Why is it down there? No, that's our launch. Is it here? Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. All it gave us is the warp cell efficiency, so we'll just be a little bit more efficient. That's it. We still don't have any kind of depth to our launching. Alright, well, worth a shot. We should have stopped at one of the other space stations. 
All right, here we go. So we can come back and get ourselves a solar ship at some point. Go off to the side. All right, I think we got three more jumps to do here. Galactic Center. 472. 26, 635, 643. Let's go to this one. It's not really a matter of how far we can go, because honestly, we're, we're crawling across a galaxy that's 670,000, you know, units from the center right now. We're probably at about, what, 668 right now. I didn't look. So here we go. 30th? Yep. So I would stop at the space station and look for more, but I'm not going to worry about it now. Okay. There is our 14th. Yes, it is. And yeah, 667. Yeah. Notice it drops as we're going out this way. At a jump range. Okay, well, that one will have to be the one. Let's do it. This will be number 15, and then we'll have one more. And then we got to find ourselves a portal. I think. I think it'll be done with this, and then it'll tell us to do something else, if I remember correctly. Been a while. Nice system. Curious to how far apart these planets are. There's our data injection. No, they're pretty far apart. Sometimes you run across planets that are touching. There's our 15th glyph. You know, one of them is a water planet. You can probably take a rocket uh, rocket couch to the other. Terraforming catastrophe. All right, let's go. This should be our last jump. Galactic center. Uh, let's see How about you. About ninety-four, six twelve. Let's just do this. One. All right. And like I said, this should be the sixteenth clip. And I think we have some more contact yet. We'll see. And here we go. You notice that there hasn't been any space battles either while you're doing this. first contact locations on the way. Okay, here we go. Source unknown. And 16 of 16. So, we're done. What's next? We should just have to jump a couple more times. Something changes, if I remember correctly. Ooh, okay, yeah, that's... Jump? And we're in this system. Another first contact. It's amazing how much we haven't even discovered in the Euclid galaxy. It's going to contact us again, but we already have all our glyphs. So we'll go ahead and get the last three jumps in. Let's see if something changes. Okay, nobody's contacting us. Let's move on. Okay. Galaxy Center. We're at 665 now, right? Soon, we will have accomplished what we needed to accomplish. OK. 
Okay. Also a first contact. Amazing. Ooh, isn't that a pretty place? Ooh, no, you don't want to go there. It just looks pretty. It isn't. Alright, so there's 14. Okay, one more shot at the center. 664 is what we're down to. This could be, if you wanted to do it the old-fashioned way and actually do it like this, you can eventually get to the center. It would take you a few weeks worth of playing to do so. But it is pretty neat to do that on your own after the main storyline is over. Fractured Planet. I'm curious at this one over here. Curious. I've got, I've got to head towards it. Sorry. Let's get past this planet. Endless morass. Nice. It's named Carl. The planet Carl. Fascinating. Okay. Good to know. Okay. One more shot at the center. This should be the last one, I think. 598. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Alright. Hopefully you've enjoyed the series thus far. And here we are. This should be the last jump. Sixteen, locate and enter the final portal. It says. Port line. There you go. So this was it. It's on this planet here. This green terra catastrophe, a charred planet. So it's going to be hot. All right. Final interface portal. Oh, nope, it's on the other planet. Fortunately, it doesn't look like it's very rocky, so we should, being it's a moon, it should be fairly easy to see this thing. We don't have to search, we just have to sit here for a couple moments and look. Yeah, it's gonna call me out to a liar. There we go. There we go. It's right here. Of course, there's an incoming storm. I'm not even gonna bother with the supplies at this point. Arb, an arb. All right. Hope you loved everything you have. I am gonna do something real quick. I recommend before going through this last portal, please change out your multi-tool that you currently have with something you don't like. So this is the one I've been using, I think, right? No, it is not. Okay, so we're going to just take this one out and we'll use it. Because your multi-tool gets damaged. Here we go again. Hopefully we have enough supplies. Sorry, concentrating. There we go. Atlas protocol initiated. The portal shimmers as I look at it, never quite resting long enough for my eyes to fully process, process it fully. Fake to focus. focus.
and here we go. Pretty cool. Because the planet we were just on made it hazy looking. Now, it looks like we landed in a nice spot, but you notice that there's something missing. Your ship is missing. Nowhere to be seen. So while you're looking through here, grab things. Like this animal right here. It's the only one on the planet. Go to your discoveries. See, it's not even telling us what planet we're on. That's hilarious. And yes, you, you are looking at it right. It's a countdown timer. Up to you what you want to do. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to witness the end. I decided to grab a glitch. Here we go. Notice that there's no blobs on the ground anymore. We can't gather any words. So what is this? Nothing here. Fascinating, isn't it? Let's go to the Atlas interface. You notice? You see there's something beyond it, too. Little hint. It watches me. Leaving doesn't do anything, so you might as well just cry out. Cry out with the Atlas is silent. Cry out again. Cry out thinking of my journey, thinking of all the things that I have seen, of Artemis, who just wanted to meet another traveler, who just wanted an end to their loneliness. I cry out thinking of Apollo, who gave me purpose when all purpose seemed lost. I cry out thinking of Null, thinking of how they lived, what choices they made, the path that led them to this end. If I cry out again, there is no return. If I cry out again, I must make my final choice. Bye. Artemis once said that when they first reached out to the heavens, they had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. I stand before the interface of the Atlas, before the center of all things. I stand before the death of existence. Cry out. On the sixth cry, the Atlas answers. Traveler. Stand your ground. It speaks, I understand. At my command, the Atlas will initiate a reset. It has happened before, and it seems to stop nothing. It still only has 16 minutes left. I do not know what I will remember when it happens. When I woke up next to my ship, had I just performed a reset? At someone else? Everything is coming to an end. Perhaps all that is left is to learn the final truth of the simulation. To know who the travelers truly are, and then... A thousand galaxies will be gone, and a thousand more will appear. It will all be mine to explore. I ask if there's another way. I plead with the Atlas, but it does not listen. There is no other way. Atlas requires my choice. While it lives, it can still create. The resets will not stop that. I do not know what to do, or what it will, wants me to do. So do we refuse it, or do we reset it? I think it's time to reset. I have to know what happened. Pretty neat. Let's head on. So the Atlas is now gone. All is done. Let's get a screenshot of this, shall we? There we go.
Let's go. So what you have here is four galaxies. Red, green, blue, and kind of a pale white. White with a bluish tinge to it. These galaxies represent different things. Like the red one, obviously, is going to be kind of a, a hard galaxy to play in. The Sentinels will be very angry. I usually choose green or blue as my favorites. And if I'm not mistaken, one of these leads to Eisentum, the other leads to the, the Hilbert dimension, I believe. Um, I actually am not sure. Because I think Eisentum, personally, I, I love the Eisentum galaxy. That's what I like. So, that's almost like the one I would suggest to go with here. Okay. So, this one. Let's just go to the first one and we'll read it. A burning galaxy. Alice created a simulation of its own world, its entire existence, in an attempt to witness its own impending death. It wishes to show me its past, its future. So if we reset, we'll go to the Burning Galaxy. So that's a harsh galaxy. The next one is... Inspiring. And it gives you the same in information about it. Hang on just a second here. Okay, this is Lush. And this is related to the Eisentum galaxy and others as well, mind you. There, you could go to a number of different galaxies in this one, depending upon which one you go with. We're going to leave that. We're going to read the next one. This is the Ancestral galaxy. Ancestral is uh, is an empty galaxy. Um, it's really it's going to be light on resources and hard to find a lot of things. So I completely leave it up to you if you want to do ancestral. And then the final one is let's see what its description is because I've actually got a cheat sheet in front of me to look them up. Imperfect galaxy. The imperfect galaxy is normal. It's completely normal. Uh, majority of the galaxies belong to this type of galaxy. Um, I'm not sure where you'll end up when you go here, which galaxy you will be in. Um, it's kind of a cyan colored here too. So you got about 178 galaxies that are related to this kind of simulation. I always choose the green one personally because I prefer the lush beautiful, lots of uh, stuff that you can find on them. So I'm going to choose this one, an inspiring galaxy. I like inspiring. Let's reset the simulation. Ladies and gentlemen, you've reached the end of the main storyline for No Man's Sky. And you'll notice it's in reverse. You're doing a pullback. The pullback represents the fact that you're leaving the galaxy that you're in. And it's giving you the end music that we get with a lot of our expeditions as well. Where do you think they got the music from? Major pullback here. You're zipping out of this galaxy at incredible rates. A lot of screen flicker during this. And as we pull out, we see things are starting to get a little scarce. A couple clouds appear, less stars, and then finally, any moment now. Stop. Everything goes dim in that one. Guess what? It fades to black. 
And then you rotate over and guess what you found? New galaxy. Eisentum. It did put me in Eisentum this time. Sometimes it's, it's the Hilbert dimension, but it did throw me into Eisentum. That's fantastic. So if you choose that, you get the opportunity to join the Eisentum galaxy. Eisentum is the 10th galaxy, and it is known for having not only very peaceful, a uh, lot of peace, a lot more peaceful worlds in Maine than, than the regular ones. I can't believe all the uh, my screen is having a little trouble with it. I don't think it's showing up on the video this way. Uh, or my video card, one of the two. Um, but it also has a lot more paradise planets than any other galaxy. And here we go. So, congratulations, we have made it. You can now get a remembrance, which you will need, so you probably want to make it. But you'll notice that when you come in here, Look at your ship. Everything's damaged. Your exosuit, everything, nearly everything is damaged in here. So hopefully you have the supplies to fix everything. Yeah, see, I don't even have enough to fix everything that's in here. You know, fortunately that's okay. Our jetpack is also damaged, which is right. Nope, jetpack is okay, but everything attached to it is not. We need wiring looms to fix everything. But you remember, I did install something I didn't need. So at least we get one. And I'm going to choose to put it over here. Let's make a carbon nano nanotube. Um, wait a minute before we do that. This one has 210, 286. Let's do this one. So our jetpack's a little bit more useful now. And can we do the remembrance? I think we've got... We need a heart of the sun, and we need 16 platinum. So... We need to develop a Heart of the Sun. And you'll notice that we don't have that in our inventory here. So is this something that we're going to have to learn? Okay. So that said, we can't really fix anything. Our main hazard protection is okay. Nothing else is repairable. And our multi-tool is damaged, of course. But if you were listening and you did what I told you to do, you switched out your multi-tool. Which I think is this one. Let's check it. Yep, we're in good shape. So, yeah, I cheated a little bit. But hey, it was worth it. Okay. So, let's head towards our ship. I have no idea what kind of planet this is. Let's at least find out what species. Uh, Gek. It's a Gek planet. Good. Uh, let's see what the planet's like. Temperate, rare, it's overgrown. Okay, good, good, good. Got some good stuff here. And let's head towards our ship. Thank heavens I fixed that, huh? Would have been an even longer journey than normal. And this... Like I said, is the end of it all. So if you want to grab these, you should have enough cash now that if you stop at certain places you can pick up things. You can pick up uh, plenty of wiring looms. Oh, it gave us thermal protection module. That's awesome. So what we can do is we can install that. We can uninstall the other. See? And now we get another wiring loom. So I'm going to put you here. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade or fix this. We need another carbon nanotube. There we go. There you go. So even better. That was a good find. And here we are. We found our ship. And basically at this point, if you go to our menu here, under the log, you'll notice that the main storyline is now gone. Okay? So we need to gather platinum, get our find our heart of the sun... Um, that is a whole other storyline that we can get into as well. So the main storyline is now complete. This episode will end as it as a final episode to the main storyline. We're going to have some addendum episodes where we're going to complete out a lot of the sub submissions, which will include getting our remembrance. So you can see how that works. Okay. 
So that's where we end up, and boy, oh boy, we got a lot of repairs to do because our ship won't even take off at this point. You can see it's damaged. See, it's in bad shape. We have to fix everything. And you're going to need that. You're going to need that. Uh, I don't even know where to begin here. Hold on. Uh, we're not going to be able to do our shield yet. Launch, launch. Anti-gravity well. That's the first thing we need. Which you see, we needed that. We needed that. We do not have any crystallized hearts, so we can't fix our gravity well. That is hilarious. So what we're going to have to do here... we got a lot of uh, stuff on board. Yeah. We're going to save this for another episode, and what we're going to do is we're going to dedicate a short episode to repairing. Oh, wait a minute. We had... Communicator. Uh, transmission is infused with static and it's alien, alien gar speech garbled. One thing is unmistakable. The life form is great to stretch. Their broadcast contains a set of coordinates. That is your um, settlement that you can get. But unfortunately, we aren't going anywhere. So we'll jump into a lot of these later on. So I'm going to go ahead and call this episode complete as the main episode line is done the next episode is going to be kind of a, a, a sub episode to this one and we'll start with ship repairs and how you can get things going again so we'll have to call on one of our other ships and we're going to have to get things repaired so that takes that's uh, that's it for me for this evening uh, folks thank you for watching please hit the like and subscribe and thank you again if you have any comments to make please feel free to make them hopefully the audio is much better this time and again i'm sorry we missed so much at the very beginning there of the first 20 minutes but yeah that was a whole mess all right we'll take care everybody we'll see you in the next episode